<laughs> Hi, cutie boy. Clover, if you're gonna be in the shot, you have to be like right here. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more mysterious recipes with me and her. Both me. <laughs> Today, we're going to be making another famous Hotchkiss recipe, of course. As you probably know from watching our channel, Hotchkiss is something of a food inspiration for the two of us. As you may notice, we are in a different backdrop today. I believe this is probably going to be our new filming location from now on. At least for a good while. Um, so, there's definitely some different scheduling stuff going on in our personal lives. So, um, we're, so yeah, we're probably going to be filming more here. Yeah. There, there, there is a little more distractions in this household than the other one. Which means that like, we fully expect everyone to enjoy these videos even more. Although I think our overhead angle is going to be a little bit wobbly occasionally in the videos. That will be why. I, my son Clover seems to enjoy it. He's rubbing his whiskers on it. He likes rubbing his whiskers on things. Anyways, let's get but started. He's very cute. He likes to watch us cook. So, um... Everyone say hi to Clover and let's get going. We were planning on cooking a requested recipe, but then we were going around the store just looking for snacks to buy as we do, as we all do on our days off. Um, and we came across something that reminded us of a food that Hotchkiss mentioned in Tomb of the Lost Queen, which would be the beef jerky salad with a caramel vinaigrette. This is what we're Imagine making today. Tomorrow. And this is what we found. It's like a shredded beef jerky. Beef jerky. And uh, I mean, we saw it and we were like, oh, wait a minute. What does that make us think? Yeah. About? So we were totally planning on doing a requested recipe. Um, so we found this. So we are going to be doing, we are going to be making Hotchkiss's beef jerky salad. We're using this because it inspired us and it's already shredded up, but if you don't see this, you can absolutely use whatever your favorite beef jerky is. And all you're gonna do to prep that for today's recipe is to put it in a blender or food processor, or else just use your hands. But, um, Rip it to pieces. If you have a blender, just put some in there and just pulse it just until you kind of get some good sized crumbs, okay. just to get it smaller and less chewy. So we're using this because we found it, but um, if we like this recipe and make it again, we'll just buy some regular beef jerky and shred that up. I haven't tried this yet. I want to taste it a little pinch just on its own and see how it is. Well, not too bad. It's disgusting because we don't have any other <laughs> So as jerky is good, this one has a pretty light flavor. It's also very dry, which will well, be great for salad. It's labeled traditional shredded air dried beef. Okay, let's get started. But it's good. It's just definitely a lighter flavored one. Okay. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to get four tablespoons of butter. And oh, we're, what, what part we're making first? We're gonna make the dressing first. So we're gonna, since we are making a caramel vinaigrette, we're gonna make homemade caramel for this, which means we're gonna have to do it on the stove. We're gonna do that first so it has a few minutes to cool down in between doing everything else. So we're just gonna start with four tablespoons of butter in a pan. We're gonna heat that up and then we're gonna add the sugar. Mm -hmm. In general, I'd say start the butter around medium low to medium heat because we're gonna be adding sugar, we don't want this to burn. While we have the butter melting, that's gonna take a minute or two. We can go ahead and start prepping some of our veggies for the salad. Chef, what ingredients do we have to work with today in our surprise <laughs> basket? Okay, so in our surprise basket, we have a pear, some tomatoes, yum, ow! Some injuries, some brown sugar, <laughs> An avocado, a red onion, balsamic vinegar, some french fried onions, and some mixed greens, queso fresco. So as far as, we are gonna add some cheese to this. As far as the cheese goes, you can use whatever your preference is there. Honestly, as far as any of the vegetables that we're adding in the salad goes, you can use your preference. This is what we wanted to do, what we think will taste good. So our butter is just about melted, and since we are making caramel sauce first, we're gonna go ahead and add some brown sugar. So we've got four tablespoons of butter, we're gonna add a half cup of brown sugar to that, packed brown sugar. Put that in with it and let it cook until the sugar is fully dissolved and starts to get bubbly. So 
since we are doing this in a vinaigrette, we're not making like a chewy caramel. We don't need this to cook for a super long time. We just need it to cook till the sugar is fully dissolved. It's bubbling and then we'll let it cook for another minute or two just to make sure that everything is really broken down. It's time to dance. Time to dance. Time to dance. As far as the vinaigrette goes, you can always add more to it. We're just gonna start off very simple. So our vinaigrette is just gonna be our butter, sugar, cooked together. And then when that's done cooking, we're gonna add in some balsamic vinaigrette. Do you want any olive oil? Um, maybe a splash, but I'm gonna wait and taste it. If you hate balsamic, you can try like white wine vinegar, but- I hate balsamic. It's so delicious. This is my personal recommendation. Dip some bread in that. So we're gonna measure out about a quarter cup. Who's gonna add our vinegar? If you did overcook your sugar a little bit like we started to do there, just leave the heat on for another minute or two till it breaks back down once you add your vinegar. I like it. I think that's gonna be good there. Definitely a very sweet balsamic at this point. We're gonna go ahead and pull the dressing off the heat and then we're gonna take another pan. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna also melt that down up over about medium heat. And again, pretty much all of the add-ins to the salad, since it is a salad, are personal preference. If you hate one of the ingredients, just leave it out. But um, I like pear in a salad. We're gonna melt this butter, slice up the pear, and just pan fry that a little bit to break it down some. can see from the overhead angle that they're like a little bit limp now but not super soft so we're gonna go and cut off the heat take that off the heat let it cool off a little bit while we start assembling our salad so what we're first gonna do is put some greens we're using a blend of just several different lettuces and then arugula for this one here then we're going to chop up some we're gonna add some cherry tomatoes, tomatoes. Add a little bit of red onion and we're gonna cut that up really thin just so it's not too much going on. I'm also going to add some avocado, so we're just gonna cut that up. And we're also going to crumble up some of our cheese. Oh my, I really like the flavor of some french fried onions in a salad, so I'm gonna crumble up some of those a little bit. some of the pear we sauteed. Then, last but not what least, what really makes it, you can be nice and generous with your beef jerky crumbs. Let's add some dressing. Do we need vinegar, uh, oil in this? It's rather thick. Taste it. I always think a little olive oil. And we can add a little. So, olive oil up to you. That would be more of a finishing thing to whisk a little in if you would like. And that just helps thin it up a little, especially if you make too much of this vinaigrette and put the rest in the fridge, you can definitely add more oil. We'll 
let's eat. Moment of truth. So I think I'm going to like this. Sharon thinks she is not going to because she's not a fan of sweet unless it's in dessert. But we're gonna try. Try to get a little bit of everything on my fork so I can taste all the flavors. So it is very sweet. <laughs> So if that's not your thing, you can always add more vinegar, add more oil, and just have the caramel be more of a background note. Yeah. I'm throwing stuff everywhere. But it is, I, I like everything else about it besides the sweetness. I do think I like the jerky on the salad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, it's, granted, a lot of it went down to the bottom when we stirred it up. But it's small enough pieces that you're not struggling to chew it. Mm hmm And I mean, meat on a salad is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. But it's a little bit different than putting just the usual chicken on your salad or steak on your salad. It's just a nice variant of the meat on your salad option. It tastes like a very fresh, lighter, but sweeter salad. Mm -hmm. It definitely feels more like a lighter salad than say doing a balsamic salad with steak on it which is something I'll do every so often with just about all the other same things but I'll usually add some steak too which is really good but always ends up being a little bit heavier than this here what we need is a third person oh what? Well, <laughs> like Nancy Drew, just make sure that your face is your not. face never shows. Mm -hmm. She might be Nancy Drew. Ah. What do you think, Nancy? What's the dressing flavor? Um, it's it is caramel. So it's homemade caramel ah. sauce with balsamic vinegar. I'm Very actually going to add some extra beef jerky just because it is a beef jerky salad. And between everything else. Since this is a very light flavor of jerky on its own, I'm not really picking up a lot of that over the rest of the food. So maybe add a little bit more up. jerky than we started with. Or just use like a stronger flavored one to begin with. I like it with that bit more. That helps, honestly. The saltiness helps cut through that really sweet dressing. So what's your opinion? Pretty good. There's more jerky on it now. You can have it. We got it pretty good from, um, from the uh, shadow figure. That's what we're calling. What do you think of hot kisses taste in food? I think that's their hot kiss and I would get along quite well. There we go. Especially kids on the There's a lot to it. And I, I really I like that. I just got a bite there that had extra beef jerky in it. That was really good. Honestly, I feel like you probably can't overdo the jerky in the salad as long as you can still chew everything in the end. The flavors? all actually work really well together if you don't mind that sweet dressing if you're someone who likes sweet things i think you're really gonna like this yeah overall opinion i do enjoy this if i was gonna make it again and i'm not just trying to replicate an Nancy Drew recipe i would definitely tweak the dressing to be less of a caramel vinaigrette and more of just a vinaigrette the jerky is still very heavy excellent and addition mm -hmm. i do like that I'm it's so good Gonna have to start adding jerky to my salads more. I think we could have gone heavier on the cheese just because it's such a light cheese, I didn't taste it very much. Now you guys know how to make this. Try making it at home. Tell us what y'all think of this caramel dressing that Professor Hotchkiss was quite so fond of. Mm. What? I and like comment in the comments what we should make next time. And we will try to make a recipe that was suggested actually next time. We just mm -hmm. got inspired by while we were out shopping. Random ingredients we saw. But we do still have that little jar of suggestions written down on slips of paper. Right. Set aside. So next time we get ready to shoot a video, we're probably going to go ahead and pull a strip from the jar and see what we get. Unless we're just craving one specific suggestion. <laughs> oh, there's Clover. Does Clover want to say bye to Clover, everyone? Clover, do you want to say bye-bye? Yes. Oh. Oh, you came to say goodbye. Come, on, Come here. 
He actually didn't ham up for the camera as much as I thought he would while we were cooking. Once we got going, he kind of vanished. Yeah, uh, saying goodbye. Oh boy. From Clover. You left, you let us use the clean counter. He's while. happy with this video because, you know, they worship cats in Egypt. Ah, so. True. So it is Clover approved. Clover approved. Anyway, that's it for now. Until next time, go eat something good, play something spooky, wear something cute, and just generally enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye! Mystery time. There's a mystery. We don't need mm -mm. blooper bits. We don't need to make blooper bits because then it's not really well, It's not organic. Well, the clip's about to time out anyway in a minute and a half. Ah! I can actually still see, so. <laughs> now I look like a mummy. Well, <laughs> only slightly. <laughs> you need a lot more.